Hey everybody, it's a Chief Meteorologist Brad Panovich. We've got severe weather threatening the area tomorrow and it's always a good time to go over your safety plan. Where are you gonna go in your house? A lot of folks don't think about this until the last minute. Remember, the average tornado warning is about 10 to 15 minutes. You don't wanna be figuring out what to do then. You wanna do it a, a, a day ahead of time. So a couple things I do before the day of a severe weather event, I get my severe weather safe place. So this is our severe weather safe place. It's a closet underneath our stairs. It's kind of messy right now. You might want to clean it out a little bit, make some space in there for you and your kids. You want to pick a room that has as many walls between you and the outside. Remember, there's a wall here, there's a wall here, there's an exterior wall, and it's underneath the stairs. The other thing you want to do is go grab your helmets, bike helmets, skateboard helmets, whatever kind of helmets you have, put them in here. The number one thing that injures people in tornadoes is head trauma. People get hit in the head with stuff. That's what is a concern. Believe it or not, it's not the wind. So the wind picks up and throws at you. So grab your helmets, put them in there. Something else you might want to grab is grab a flashlight, put that in there as well. And you're going to bring your phone or tablet because you're going to be streaming, hopefully me and WCNC. Bring a power pack to keep your phone charged or your tablet. The key part about this is we're going to tell you when to go in there. Um, but more importantly, I'm going to try to tell you when to get out. The other thing, and last but not least that I think people forget, is God forbid your house is hit by a tornado, but I have plenty of shoes in here. Make sure you have shoes or boots with you because if your home is damaged and you have to get out of this safe spot, you're going to be climbing over debris, broken you know, glass, nails, wood, whatever, um, and you don't want to have bare feet or be in the socks. So put some shoes in there. Just put that in there, get a safe spot, and if there is a warning, great, it's there. If not, you're prepared, but it's always good to have a plan ahead of time and don't wait to the last minute. Last, make sure you have three ways to get warnings and here are a couple ways to do that via our apps. All right, the first place you can grab notifications, WCNC News app. Go grab the WCNC Charlotte app, open it up, and you'll see the splash screen. The great thing about this app, you can watch our live stream while we're on the air as well. Um, go up to the corner and grab that little gear button. You see it up in the right-hand corner, click on that. That's gonna open the notifications section. Click on notifications and click on weather and severe weather alerts. Turn on alerts for watches and warnings, or if you just want warnings, you can do that as well. Click either of those. Make sure you set the location. It can then follow you as a GPS, or you can set a permanent address like your home or your business. Then go into your notification settings and make sure the location is used when you're using the app or always on. This way, you can get alerts no matter where you are. We also have a WCNC First Warn weather app. You can grab that as well. This is weather only, but it has notifications and alerts as well. Go to those little settings up in the corner, go to um, the alert locations, and then turn on weather notifications. You can actually pick what types of notifications you get. Also, make sure you have this on for sounds and crank it up in case there is a warning in the middle of the night. Lastly, if you don't want to use an app at all, just use the wireless emergency alerts, which are built into your phone already. So open up your settings, go to notifications, scroll all the way down to the bottom, past all your apps. And at the bottom, you'll see Amber Alerts, Emergency Alerts, Public Safety Alerts. This is built into iOS as well as Android. This is provided by the cell phone carriers. There's no charge for this, and this will give you alerts based on the location of your phone compared to cell towers, which are in the warning. And as always, you can follow me at WXBrad, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, even TikTok and YouTube or WCNC for the latest on any severe weather.